Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to an NBA 2K23 build video. In today's video, we're going to be building out a Giannis build. Yes, I am I am being completely 100% honest with you guys when I say this is Shades of Giannis. Okay? So listen, first and foremost, before we get into anything, this is a 6-9 build. Take that as you will. Let's get into the video. Oh, before I forget, hit that like button, please. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, Abba, King Kong. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to tell you guys about this bill simply because I was too tired when I made this bill to realize the excitement of my friends. So basically I was streaming on Twitch for about four to six hours yesterday. If you're not following me on Twitch, I think you should link in the description, but basically they were screaming and raving and yelling and like, yo pot, you really might be the bill guy. So I'm thinking to myself like, yo, what I do? Like I'm, I'm literally no energy guys. So now today I finally realized what I did and I'm here to tell you guys I'm top fucking three. You hear me? When it comes to these builds, I'm top three. You can go ahead and get anybody out there that makes builds. And I guarantee you they don't do this on their own. Now, if you guys don't understand what I'm saying to you, you can go watch the Twitch VOD. I literally created Giannis build on the fly. Okay? But I want to show you guys the build here today. So first and foremost, it don't matter what you are except a power forward. Make sure you make yourself a power forward. Now, as far as the body settings go, you want to make sure you are 6'9", 239 pounds with a 7'7 wingspan. Now, as far as the body shape go, I wouldn't go with anything besides compact simply because it does make you look like a little bit more slight and slender, but it makes you look longer as well. All right. Now, let's go ahead and hit continue. I'm just going to go ahead and put the controller down right now and let you guys look. Just be in awe of the shit that we did here. Now. Just to show you guys, you have 19 badge points in the finishing category. You have nine badge points in the shooting category. You have 15 badge points in the passing category. And you have 21 badge points in the uh, defensive and rebounding category. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, bro. Nine badge points in shooting. Oh, I don't, I don't I don't like it. It ain't enough. Listen, it ain't about being a shooter. It's about being Giannis, okay? So listen, let me break it down to you for you guys. You get bully on gold, posterizer on gold, rise up on gold. You can also get, you know what I'm saying, ankle breaker. You can get clamp breaker, killer combos. You can get all of those tier three badges that you guys want because you will have enough to actually purchase them all right because remember in order to get to the tier three you have to use 10 of the badge points in tier one and tier two so this shows finishing and playmaking you can get those tier three badges now in defense i don't even want to talk about it you already know what it is you are a monster you are something to be feared you can get more than what even two, three tier three badges if you use the method of the welcome to the league. If you guys don't know what welcome to the league is, I'll make a separate video for that. But here, we're here to talk about Giannis, okay? And as far as the phys physicals go, listen, 82 vertical for those elite contacts, 91 strength for that bully ball, 90 stamina, and you max out everything else. So let's go ahead and hit, hit continue, bro. Now, of course... When it comes to takeovers and we think about Giannis, right? Your primary takeover. Don't don't forget you can get playmaking take by the way and rim take by the way. I'm just I'm just saying it's a lot you can do here, bruh, because you are Giannis, all right? But if I was you, I would pick definitely advanced gathers and definitely maybe a, a lock badge, maybe perimeter badge drop, or you can go with stuff blocks or something like that. Me personally, I would go with stuff blocks simply because blocking is beautiful in this game. All right. So let's go ahead without further ado, go into those shades. Stop playing, bruh. Stop playing, bruh. Shades of Sean Kemp, Shades of Giannis, Evan Mobley. I listen, I get it, but Giannis, bruh. You know what I'm saying? You see the big flex on him, bruh. Big flex. Now, also, let's go ahead into the uh test build. You know what I'm saying? So you guys can get another clear look at all 
of the stats, you know what I'm saying, side by side. If you hit continue, now remember, you can get nine badge points, right? Now, of course, green machine and guard up, those are going to be costly. Obviously, five points, obviously four points, right? That's your nine badge points right there. But if you go to the welcome to the league uh, quest in my career, you can get plus four badge points as well as the rebirth is out as well. I'm being a separate video on that as well, where your build can be a 90 overall and possibly get 25 badge points for the build. So if you do this for the shooting side, you can get up to 13 badges. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's crazy. 13 badge points. That means amp. You can put that on probably silver you can put on claymore you know what i'm saying you can also put on midi magician because this build does have a midi you can even put on space creator if you want it's a lot of different things now i know people probably like bro that blinders that blinders would be so good on this build it would but if you wanted blinders you can get it later throughout the seasons as you literally get a badge point every single season but if i were you and you were me i will focus on the rest of my finishing for the rest of the seasons. Get your finishing badge points allocation up. You know what I'm saying? And I, in all honesty, I wouldn't even waste my four from the Welcome to the League on shooting. I will put all that right in finishing simply because you get 19 finishing. So just imagine having 23 finishing, 21 defensive, and then every season you just alternate. One badge point here, one badge point here. One, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you mess around, have 25 in both categories and still can mess with playmaking and shooting later down the line. But I promised that I, would, I wasn't going to keep you guys too much longer. There is no need to watch the gameplay. We already know testing the build just means I would go in, dunk on a bunch of people, catch a bunch of alley-oops on people, dribble with clamp breaker past people. We already know what this build will be able to do. But what I want you guys to do is check out the build for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think inside the comment section if it's a w spam w in the chat if it's a l it is what it is but i'm gonna be honest with you all i see is w's you feel me but listen i'm gonna holla at you guys in the next video make sure you guys hit that like button man i appreciate all the love as always and i'll see y'all next time peace oh Oh, it's so clean. I like this. I like the new jerseys. Who's this, huh? Yo, find the fucking league. Rick feels a little different. <laughs> King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong.